All right, season three finale. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 178. Let's go ahead and get started. I choose this one. Dun dun. He just had to pick that one? Henry, that's old. A revealing sleepwear in the style of the Southern Empire. Popular with luxury lovers. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this isn't what I imagined. Dun dun. Navier's plan. One, Henry picks a normal gift, e.g. a dashing hat that Cosia recommended. Two, Henry is impressed when she reviews there's more. There were also gag gifts in the mix. Wow, you're so witty. Uh, um, my queen. Oh, oh. Uh, that one's actually not yours. It was mistakenly placed in the pile. Pardon? Then who... It's for Viscount Laundry. What? Sorry, Viscount. I'll need you to pick again. Mm. You're not going to interfere again, are you? I won't. I promise. Then I'll go with this one. Why does he keep choosing the gag gifts? Uh, does this mean I get nothing? Title, A Dance with the Queen. Actually, I drew that. Wow, uh, your style is really creative. I know people will be calling it a classic in 300 years. Ugh. Oh no, now I'm more mortified. I know I can't draw. You can pick another gift. Hmm. No, you told me you wouldn't interfere this time. <laughs> I was foolish to try and be silly when I'm not even good at telling jokes. <laughs> Let me take that back. You can keep the first gift you chose. Hmm. I thought you said it was for Viscount Laundre. That was just an excuse I made up to take it back. What? Really? Hmm. But why him? Does he like these kind of clothes? And what's with the drawing? Why are you taking it back? Uh, oh my. That was the last of the joke gifts. I might as well give you the rest. Huh? Now that I've given him the gifts, we should move on to serious matters. Ooh, cake. A birthday cake in the house trophy style, gifted by Navier but baked by the royal chef. I spoke with Ambassador Klein while you were outside. The special envoy from White Mont. Oh, must you spoil the mood like that? I need to tell you what he said while the conversation is still fresh in my mind. What did he say? He talked about you've been ignoring the king's request to reconcile, all the while continuing to send troops to the border. He said it makes the people of White Mond uneasy. Oh dear. <laughs> I was planning to chat with him after the banquet. I guess he beat me to it. I understand where they're coming from. White Mond hasn't been the only nation wary of us since we became an empire. So, are you going against... Are you against going to war? Wait, are you against going to war? For now, yes. If we only look at our immediate gains and launch an attack against White Mond, it will likely put other nations on guard. They might even end up allying with the Eastern Empire. As powerful as and wealthy as the Western Empire is, we can't go up against the entire continent. Even if we do end up going to war with White Mond in the future, doing it now won't be wise. I see. In any case, he gave me this rather extravagant gift after he brought that up. So I suggested that he come up with the treaty terms that we fair for both sides. An extravagant gift. 
They're giving us a warship and a merchant ship. Here's the contract for the transfer of ownership. Huh? Oh, what? It seems like he wants the ships. The Remarried Empress, episode 178. I was wondering if the season finale episode would go back to the Eastern Empire. Because it's going to get good. After one of their people are now in prison, I wonder what Savage is going to say. And also the issue with the carriage. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, did you give her my gift? Yes, I delivered it to her personally. What did she say? I want to know what expression she made and the tone of her voice. Why is it so mean? Uh, um, uh... Huh. Then again, she's never been one to make a big fuss about the gift. Thanks for your help. That'll be all. Uh, understood, your majesty. So, I doubt Naviera even remembers the promise I made. Ah. But I'm glad I was able to fulfill it even after all this time. She would have at least thought of me when she received the gift. Your majesty, an envoy from the Western Empire has a letter for you. Curse it all! I regret that I had to write to you with such unfortunate news, but I didn't want to risk you losing face by handling a punishment to your invoice without your input. I will leave it to you to decide their punishment. P.S. You need not be lenient. This is beyond humiliating. You think that being foreign nobles from a ruined family who have been hired for these fake roles, they'll have the sense to try and stop Russia's antics instead of doing something even worse. Sure, it's irritating that Henry's trying to get to me. The problem is... Navier Sobatio. Navier also wrote to me about the same thing. I can't even enjoy getting a letter from her. Bring, bring Viscount and Viscountess Ishka here at once! Our empire was mocked by the Western Empire of all places because of you two! You're not even from here! Did Russia put you up to this? Uh, Her Majesty doesn't know about this, Your Majesty. We never intended the, this thing to go this far. Uh, exactly, Your Majesty. We just wanted to scare Evely a little so she wouldn't want to return to the palace. Now you're lying straight to my face! They're lying to save themselves, Your Majesty. They gave me an ex exorb exorbitant amount to break the carriage oh. put this man in prison as for the viscount and viscountess keep an eye on them so they can't leave their accommodations your majesty we're innocent your majesty how is it that you know nothing about the trouble she caused what the hell have you been doing do you think i just wanted you to check if she was alive when i told you to look after her I apologize, Your Majesty. It was my mistake. Any, any advice I give to the Empress goes in one ear and out the other. It's been so long since she stopped confiding in me. But even if I tell him all this, all it would do is make him angrier. Your Majesty, the Bill of Sale. The Bill of Sale. Huh? The bill of sale with Empress Russia's name on it has been discovered in Duke Ergi's room. Oh ho ho. Wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to see this image all over again. He's in the room with the baby. The boy, right? Rash's first kid. Okay. What? It's a pretty good ending.
for season three and now we don't know when they will come back but maybe in the fall of this year hopefully or winter but wow i'm gonna miss reading the remarried empress for a while but what did you guys think the drama not only between like Sobeshu, Navier, Rashida, and Henry, but like all these side, you know, the side piece of the side chess piece here. It's getting so good. Okay, so to sum it up, Henry, wow, he is so freaking evil, but he's very protective. He's not evil like, oh, he's like, um, how you say? Like a tyrant, right? Is that the word? Like a an evil king who's like gone crazy and just blowing things up or irrational, you know? He plays his chess piece really well. And he's very protective of the people he loves. And this, obviously he loves Navier the most. Well, maybe he only cares about Navier. Whoever else, he kind of like, okay, he's very calm, collected. He plays it cool. But when it comes to Navier, he he does stuff that's kind of like jaw dropping here. Um, so Beishu, he's not a tyrant, but he can be if pushed enough. You know, um, he did do a lot of chaos. Like he caused a lot of trouble to protect Rasha, but now he's trying to get her out. Rasha is pretty much like, yeah, a mad queen at this point, a mad empress, because. Whoever steps in her way, she will try to, yeah, wipe them out. So she definitely not a good ruler. Obviously, she isn't made for that. And she's on her way out anyways. But, wow. The only person that's very level-headed and, like, very kind and have not done anything crazy is only Navier. But what a season. Ah, season three. But what a great season it was. A lot happened and I was not bored in any of the episodes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching me read and react to this webtoon. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I will try my best to read other webtoons while this one is going to be on a hiatus, I believe. They normally take a while to come back. Either they take a like two, you know, I don't know, maybe like three to six months break sometime a year so let's see all right guys i will catch you guys next time bye